Hey everyone, this is a question I get asked fairly often, so I figured I'll make a quick video in case it might be helpful to uh, some, mainly beginners. If you are familiar with GPS and satellite communicators, this will not be uh, probably useful for you, but the question I get is, what's the difference between a GPS and a satellite communicator? Uh, they both use satellites, so they're in common in that sense. Um, and a lot of times a satellite communicator will be, be, be bundled together with a GPS, so it can get confusing. Uh, here's the deal, here's the breakdown. A GPS is simply a device, or whether it's a dedicated device or phone, GPS technology is used to position you on Earth. It's simply receiving signals from GPS satellites down to Earth. It takes those signals, it figure out, figures out your position on Earth, and that's all it does. A GPS does not broadcast in any way. Uh, for GPS to work it is simply receiving that information. Now, to clarify one thing, GPS is actually the name of the positioning system that was uh, basically installed and maintained by the United States. Since then, there's been others. There's GLONASS, which is the Russian equivalent. There's Galileo, which is the European equivalent. Um, there's other ones. People say GPS when they mean positioning. Now, a satellite communicator, on the other hand, actually has nothing to do with positioning. It is simply a tool for you to communicate in the backcountry just like you would on a phone. Now, for a phone, cell phone signals don't go generally into the backcountry. So what do you do when you don't have a cell phone signal? You use a satellite communicator. And a satellite communicator, unlike a GPS, does broadcast. It takes your message, which is generally a text message, and it broadcasts it up to satellites. Uh, the satellites then forward it on to a phone or an email or whatever it might be. It depends on the platform, how that works specifically. And then it also checks for new messages. So if somebody has sent you a message in the backcountry, it'll go through that satellite and come down to the phone. And that's purely the function of a satellite communicator. It's used to communicate in the backcountry where you don't necessarily have other forms of communication. Now, where it gets confusing is that often a GPS and a satellite communicator will be bundled together. And there's, I don't think, any satellite communicator that doesn't have a GPS built into it. And that's because satellite communicators are generally used for SOS. So if you have to trigger an emergency rescue or something like that, the unit, whether it's a standalone unit or a combined unit, will take your GPS position and then send that to rescuers so they know where you are. So satellite communicators can have GPS in them, generally always will. GPS units, like this Garmin GPS Map 66i, is sort of a dedicated outdoors uh, GPS for positioning and marking waypoints and, and working in the outdoors, but it also has a satellite communicator built in. Now, not all GPS units like this have a satellite communicator built in. A phone, almost always modern phones, have a, a GPS receiver in them. They don't have, uh, at least up to this point, satellite communications built into them. So if you want to do both, you're going to want a satellite communicator. If you want to just get your position, you can generally just use your smartphone or um, get a dedicated GPS unit. So that's the difference. If you still have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. I know it's a little confusing if you're just getting into it. And uh, yeah, all right, guys, I'll see you out there.